Hello, Assalamu alaikum. Good morning, Khushandi. Ji ayanu, khuyu marikha. Pakhair agale, ni hao, chune shumme, washmale, oh hai, good zaymas, guten morgen, hola, bo yor, priviyat, kaifa hal, hale shumma chatore, ahlan wa salan, marhaba, buna, mucho, gracia, suavia, bhali garaya. And thank you very much everybody for tuning in to PTV World. You watching World This Morning alongside the very fantastic, the very amazing Shazad Khan and Shiza Hashmi. Hello Shiza, how are you doing today? I'm doing absolutely great. Thank you so much for asking. And I'm doing great, I'll tell you why, because of the coffee first of all. Mm -hmm. Other than that, we are outdoors, ladies and gentlemen. And we're also out of town. This is not Islamabad where we're exactly. in. This is different because this is probably first or the second time that I, along with the team, yeah. am doing a show outdoors, right? So, well, we're really excited about this. And I promise you, I promise you, this is going to be packed with so much inspiration, other than, of course, entertainment and whatnot. It's going to be an amazing day, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. And ladies and gentlemen, adding on to that, I think that for everybody who's out there, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this show in particular is actually going to inspire a lot of people. We do come across a lot of people, mm. ladies and gentlemen, who give us inspiration and we take aspiration from them to actually become something Absolutely. in life, to be somebody in life as well. Ladies and gentlemen, today it's actually going to be about one of those people who back in 2005 when a very unfortunate uh, natural calamity struck Pakistan, ladies and gentlemen, or talking about that Muzaffarabad in particular as well, where the earthquake was of the magnitude from above probably 7.1 rectus scale as well. But talking about that, ladies and gentlemen, the, that calamity actually displaced millions of families. Absolutely. Thousands of people were dead. And, but that was the time when back in 2005 we actually saw Pakistanis coming together. Yeah, this and gentleman, hmm, yes, absolutely. This gentleman who actually, ladies and gentlemen, was born uh, or probably raised in the United Kingdom as well, uh, had a heart uh, which said Pakistani all over it as well. Right, and Shazad, it was so important for us to actually, you know, be here. I'll tell you why, because if you did uh, watch our show, this was probably a few weeks ago. So this uh, gentleman that we're talking about, we are going to definitely give it away in a little bit. So he was in the studios along with uh, the students of his institution and along with his, you know, entire team. And we talked about uh, the type of work he's been doing because that time he was bestowed upon with a, a national uh, okay, award as well. Yeah. Yes, Tamga M. Tayas too. But now here's the thing, that particular show was a story about a man, his um, aspirations to actually do something for all the people that, like Shazad mentioned, who were displaced, and especially, not the people actually, especially the children who were orphaned. And let me tell you one thing, there were hundreds and thousands of them, and the ones that actually, you know, came under the control of this particular man, they were probably two at the time, even f someone few months old, someone few, just, I mean, young adults, even teenagers. Exactly. And right now, they've been, this place is their home now. So let me just give it away. Before we, are, we give it away, and before we give it away, where we are, ladies and gentlemen, I think everybody needs, needs to listen to this carefully as well. So from 2005 onwards, this gentleman made sure, because he actually came across a few children who were orphaned back then as well. And, he, he, you know, he, he just... Uh, thought of probably adopting those children as well and looking after them as parents and I think it was a difficult part uh, on his behalf as well but he took this decision for the next following 10 years ladies and gentlemen he rented out buildings yeah. and he made sure that not that, that the kids are actually going to sleep under a roof mm. but they're going to get good education, good food, they'll be looked after, their health will be looked after as well they'll be getting all sorts of religious uh, education as well and not just that yeah. the cultural values the ethical values the mm. moral values as well he became father to more than 400 students as of today ladies and gentlemen back in 2013 he was actually given this place but ladies and gentlemen today we actually happen to be in Mirpur Azad Kashmir yes. and the place we are in is known as court Kashmir Orphan Relief Trust as well where a lot of students are studying and the yeah. majority of the uh, students over here are actually orphans and not just that they are day scholars as well but the day scholars are all of those children who really cannot pay for their education. So this place is literally all about serving the humanity and um, you know throughout the show actually you're going to see, be seeing clips of what this place actually looks like but let me just tell you this has a hostel type situation a home actually to stay in then there's a proper messing which has food available all the time for all the people living over here this proper class is going on there was an assembly even before we started the show as well this is really interesting for us to begin with um, actually I think before we introduce the guests let's go take a look at this yeah. small report that we made for you guys this is again very exciting and after we're back from that 
we because, will because definitely. What I can see from here is I can see Fatima House, which is the girls' hostel. Then over here, I think it's the boys' hostel as well. There's court mess hall, and then there's senior section. It's a huge place, ladies and gentlemen, and we were shocked and surprised at the same moment because the very moment our cars actually entered the facility, I could see the tennis lawns, the basketball courts. So it actually is a one-window solution. Yeah. I mean, uh, since we are here, we're going to live here for the next two days as well. Yes. And I think I'm enjoying every single second spent over here. But for now, let's go and take a look at this video. And once you guys will come back, we'll actually make sure that we're going to introduce to you that amazing angel who actually made it all possible from a mountain <coughs> to a fountain. Let's take a look. Good morning. <laughs> All right, well, this was amazing, I think, and I hope actually that this did justice to just what it actually looks like, what our eyes are beholding right now. I don't think the camera can capture, but uh, since we have a lot to talk about, literally a lot, so I just think we should quickly get on to the discussion, and let's be introducing the amazing panel of guests we have over here, including the angel gentleman that we were talking about. And, you know, you will actually agree if you have watched the show before, like we already said, and when now you, uh, you're going to hear the story from his own mouth, I think you will believe why it's so important for us to be here and share the story with I you. I think ladies and gentlemen, Shiza is actually uh, as excited as I am today Absolutely. as well, so not giving me a single chance of saying <laughs> what I feel like as well. But very quickly, ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, the man himself, the recipient of Thamga Imtiaz himself, uh, and not just that, ladies and gentlemen, that the facility actually got so famous that the Prime Minister of <laughs> Pakistan, Mr. Imran Khan, yes. actually came and visited the place as well and applauded for his services as well. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the chairman of Kashmir Orphan Relief Trust as well, Chaudhary Muhammad Akhtar Saab, and he happens to be the founder as well. Hello, Assalamu Alaikum, good morning. Wa Alaikum Assalam and a very good morning to you, mashallah. <laughs> Welcome to court. It's, uh, it's an honor and a pleasure to have you both here. Thank, Thank you, you for having us, sir. Wonderful, yeah. and, it's, and we feel uh, wonderful, we feel glad. <laughs> that we actually got this opportunity to be over here and witness it for ourselves as well. Because uh, I don't know whether people are going to believe this or not, but since we are here, we're sharing it with you. Ladies and gentlemen, this is state-of-the-art facility in terms of education, in terms of upbringing, in terms of nurturing, and in terms of nourishing as well. Ladies and gentlemen, alongside him, we have somebody 
who actually completes the entire mission of what Chaudhary Saab was carrying forward as well. Because when we talk about education, ladies and gentlemen, education is not just reading books. Yeah. Education, when we sp and particularly talk about orphans, obviously they, they need that kind of environment over here where they could call somebody a mother or someone a father exactly. and discuss things with them as well. Because, ladies and gentlemen, the approach needs to be holistic over here. Yes. And so we're talking about religious studies, we're talking about sciences, we're talking about postgraduate. We're talking about getting a job, we're talking about getting married even. <laughs> so imagine that, you know, there's no worry any kid would have over here within this place. We're talking about his court, but this uh, lady who actually completes this mission or the, the goal Chaudhry Sahib has put forward, ladies and gentlemen, happens to be the former director of public instructions, AJK Colleges. She's the former chairperson for AJK Education Board and she is currently the member governing body court miss anjum afshan nakvi sahiba hello assalamu alaikum ma'am kaisi hain aap alaikum assalam ji bilkul shukar allah ka thank you very much for joining us wonderful to have you and before we uh, ladies and gentlemen actually get ourselves indulged into any kind of conversation hear me out on this so this gentleman actually scored more than 900 marks in his fsc or i never did education. that <laughs> yes and even i never did that as well and in fact if i'm going to share my scorecard over here i think i'll be embarrassed to do so as well, well so let's not but not just that <laughs> uh, not not just that the, he's actually scored amazing marks in his secondary education ladies and gentlemen he happens to be a half is a quran as well, and he was given with the or provided with this uh, kind of facility or service over here within court as well there were a lot of students who were actually going for their quran classes as well very cute early in the morning small babies wearing their caps uh, in a queue and I kind of uh, got nostalgic as well, you know, when we uh, were actually in school back yeah. then. I think uh, this is how we used to queue up and the teachers <laughs> were always shouting, you know, everybody please be silent. And know, right? but the discipline over here, ladies and gentlemen, is immaculate. The security Absolutely. over here is super. But let's congratulate this amazing gentleman, a handsome gentleman in the making. Ladies and gentlemen, he is Mr. Osama Abed. Hello, Assalamu alaikum, Osama. How are you? Wa alaikum assalam. I'm fine. How are you? Absolutely perfect. First of all, congratulations on becoming a Hafiz of Quran. And Mashallah. second, you've scored marvelously well in your secondary examination as well. So what we're going to do is that we're actually going to start with the recitation of Holy Quran. Yeah, let's do it. Please, Bismillah. A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Inna a'atayna kal kawtharu. فَسَلِّلِ رَبِّكَ وَالْحَرُ إِنَّا أَعْطَيْنَاكَ الْكَوْثَرَ فَسَلِّلِ رَبِّكَ وَالْحَرُ إن شانيك هو الأبدار آمنت بالله صدق الله العظيم So choice are without any further ado uh, this, uh, this place was actually given to you by the government of AJK as well back in 2013 and it took you three years to get rid of the mountain which was on top of this land as mm -hmm. well. Don't you think that there was a little bit of deterrence within your own self as well that you know or how we actually going to pull this off? Yeah. Uh, actually I was given this, uh, this land, this plot of land in the form of a mountain in 2007. Um, it took me a couple of years to convince uh, at, the, the, at that time the Prime Minister uh, I told him my vision that I want to provide a home for orphans and actually it's not their fault. In the past people have said the same thing and what they happened to do was build probably marriage halls and housing schemes and so you know they weren't going to trust me because I was nobody mm -hmm. yeah. you know uh, what was in my heart and mind they want to know um, but it took me a couple of years to convince them eventually they said okay here you go here's a mountain 
go and do what you want. <laughs> and maybe at the time, uh, sometimes I think uh, their intention was probably I'll run away. Uh, mm -hmm. But they want to know that I was a, a proper Kashmiri as well. Right. So started with a spade and a shovel, <laughs> started digging. Alhamdulillah, it took us just over three years to, to break the mountain down. And then, mashallah, this, this whole complex I designed myself. Oh, amazing. And not only designed, I project managed it myself. You know, this is what I actually want to ask about. So when you were planning to build all these things, what was in your mind as in, okay, so I'm going to take care of hundreds of children. What are the things that they're going to need? Other than, of course, bedding and food, let's move forward. What were the things in your mind that you wanted for sure to provide them with? At the time, when the earthquake happened, my, my only daughter, my only child, and up to now my only child, she was eight and a half, Lisa. And the, the, it was a simple task, whatever, I want to provide my daughter, hmm. I want to give to these children. Yeah. And there's a couple of things that I promised to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I said, I would not give my daughter used clothes. Hmm. 15 years, these children have never worn used clothes. Wow, wow. amazing, amazing. You know? um, and then a couple of other things like providing them the excellent education, hmm. providing the excellent environment. And then in my own house, in my own home, uh, cooked food, when it's left over, we put it in a fridge and it's consumed the day after and probably the day after that. Right. But in this house, in this home, every day we get three excellent meals. Ah, mashallah. There's never been a day in 15 years where a lunch, leftover lunch is served at dinner time. Wow. You, you know, know, this is how Allah helps you, especially when your intentions are that clear, of course, right? Of course. And I, I don't think we're doing it. I think Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has provided. We are nobody. We can't provide these That's children. True. It's not in our capacity. All we do is we, we make an intention and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala provides for them. And I don't think um, these children are lucky. I think we are lucky hmm. to be serving these children. To have the opportunity. You know, یتیم ہونا کوئی گناہ نہیں ہے یتیم ہونا ایک بہت بڑی عزاز کی بات ہے کیونکہ ان کی نسبت ہمارے آگا کے ساتھ ہے and here we don't you know we don't focus just only on education لیکن تعلیم جو ہے نا وہ میری کتابوں میں سیکنڈ پہ آتی ہے تربیت سب سے اول آتی ہے exactly and this is what I'm going to ask you as well you know when we when we first actually met you and while you were over there in Islamabad in our studios you know this is something you shared with us as well that you know it's not just education then it's graduation, post-graduation, then making sure that everyone's actually going to find a job for right. themselves as well. And not just that, you know, finding a soulmate for them as well. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I think for each and every child, they might feel unfortunate at times that their parents are not around, but they might not miss them as well because of the kind of facility you provide them as well. So, you know, having that in mind that, you know, okay, since everybody needs to be hand in hand with where the uh, society is going, so having that vision, number one, I, I think that I'm glad that I actually met someone hmm. who, uh, who wants such a complete personality out of children who are actually orphans. Right. But don't you think that there have been challenges in between as well and to overcome those challenges, what did you do? You know, who did you go to? You know, obviously Allah in the first place, but there needs to be other partners, team members, you know, who made sure that, you know, whatever choice I want, uh, needs to be out there as well for all of those kids. You know, my, my pillar and uh, my big support was my wife. And up to this day she is. Mashallah. My wife was a wheelchair bound person uh, for 24 years. Um, and as you saw in this whole complex, we have more disabled persons facilities than any other institution in Pakistan. Yeah, this is the mm. first thing I saw that, you know, there's even, in, and we even talk about it, ladies and gentlemen, on PTV world that, you know, each and every other building you go to in Islamabad is not accessible for people who are actually handicapped or people with special needs as well. Or any but other city for that matter. Block built over here within court. Ladies and gentlemen, actually enables each and everybody to be a, an equal member of this uh, probably entire complex. I mean, it's just the basic things that matter, Shazad. We're yes. talking about ramps over here, right? How hard is it to install a ramp? But I ho really hope people do learn from you. But sorry, sir, but I want to move on to Ma'am Anjum over here. Uh, Ma'am, how long have you been a part of court? And when you heard the first time of idea suna about court and him asking you to be a part of this, what came to your mind? What were you thinking? मुझे जी तकरीबन पंद्रह साल ही हो गए हैं इनके साथ शुरू से मैं इनके साथ हूँ और जब मैंने इनके जो जज्बे को सुना तो मैंने उसको बहुत सराहा भी और मुझे ये हुआ कि मैं भी इनके साथ इस अगर नए काम में शामिल हो जाऊँ तो ये अल्लाह ताला की बड़ी मेरे बीच में मेहरबानी होगी तो तब से फिर मैं इनके साथ जो है वो काम कर रही हूँ और बहुत ज़्यादा हार्ड वर्कर हैं ये 
اور بہت ان کے جو ہے نا اندر ایک جو جس کو کہتے ہیں نا کہ حب الوطنی کا جذبہ بہت زیادہ ہے جس کی وجہ سے یہ جو ہے انہوں نے اس کام کو پایا یہ بات تو ڈن ہے اور ہم اس کی گواہی بھی دیتے ہیں لیکن جو میں آپ سے اب بات پوچھنا چاہتا ہوں جیسے آپ کا جو جتنا بھی پروفائل ہے وہ ایجوکیشن سے تعلق رکھتا ہے اور مجھے لگتا ہے کہ یہ آپ کو آن بورڈ لے کے بھی اس لیے آئے تاکہ ہم بچوں کو وہ تعلیم اور تربیت دے سکے جس کو انہوں نے سوچا تھا اور اس گول کو پورا کرنے میں آپ ان کی معاشرہ مدد بھی کر رہی ہیں ہمیں نظر آ رہا ہے اسامہ بھی ساتھ بیٹھا اس سے بھی ہم گفتگو کریں گے لیکن جب ہم ایک بچے کی نشو نما کے بارے میں بات کرتے ہیں ہم تعلیم اور تربیت کی بات کرتے ہیں تو اس میں بہت ساری چیزیں ہیں اس میں جب ہم آرفنس کی خاص طور پر بات کرتے ہیں تو جب ماں باپ نہیں ہوتے سر کے تو کوئی یہ بتانے والا نہیں ہے کہ تو میں بات کرنی ہے یا آپ سے بات کرنی ہے کوئی یہ بتانے والا نہیں ہے کہ بڑے کے ساتھ کیسے بات کرنی ہے چھوٹے کے ساتھ کیسے شفقت سے پیش آنا ہے تو ان سب چیزوں کو آپ نے کیسے ان بچوں تک پہنچایا ہے ان کی کیسے وہ نشو نما کی ان کی کیسے وہ تعلیم و تربیت کی جی آپ کا یہ کہنا بجا ہے کہ تعلیم کے ساتھ ساتھ تربیت بلکہ تربیت جو ہے وہ پہلے ہے تعلیم جو ہے وہ ہمیں صرف ڈگریاں دیتی ہے جبکہ تربیت جو ہے وہ آپ کو معاشرے کا ایک مفید اور انسان اور اچھا شہری بناتی ہے کیونکہ بچوں ان بچوں نے کل چل کے ملک کی باغ دھوڑ کو سنبھالنا ہے تو لہٰذا یہاں پہ تعلیم کے ساتھ ساتھ تربیت پہ بہت زیادہ جو ہے وہ زور دیا جاتا ہے فوکس ہی تربیت پہ کیا جاتا ہے اور یہاں پہ جتنا بھی سٹاف ہے یہ چودی اختر صاحب نے بہت چاندین کے بعد اور بہت کوشش کر کے محنت کے ساتھ سیلیکٹ کیے ہیں یہ لوگ اور آپ خود بھی انٹرویوز لیتی رہی ہیں جی بلکل لیتی رہی ہوں تو ہم ان لوگوں کو آگے لے کے آئے ہیں جو کہ ان بچوں کو بلکل ایک پرفیکٹ معاشرے کے لیے اچھا انسان اور اچھا شہری بنا سکے تو یہاں پہ آپ نے جیسا کہ دیکھا کہ قرآن پاک کی جو ہے تعلیم وہ دی جاتی ہے حافظ جو ہیں وہ بچے یہاں سے بن رہے ہیں یعنی دنیا کے ساتھ ساتھ دین کی تعلیم پہ بھی جو بہت زیادہ دی جاتی ہے اس کے علاوہ پلے گراؤنڈز ہیں جہاں پہ مختلف قسم کی کھیلیں جو ہیں وہ منقل کی جاتی ہیں نہ صرف یہاں پہ بلکہ یہ بچے پھر پاکستان کے مختلف اداروں میں جا کے ان کو کمپیٹیشن کر کے آتے ہیں اور وہاں سے بھی کر کے آتے ہیں تو یہ چیزیں جو ہیں اور پھر بچوں کی جو ہے نا ان کی شخصیت کے ایک ایک پہلو کو اجاگر کرنے کی کوشش کی جاتی ہے اور ان کو اچھے سے اچھا شہری بنانے میں یہاں پہ بہت اہم کرتا رہا ہے بلکل اور اسپیشلی مام یو نو اسپیشلی لیڈیز ان جنجمن وین وی ٹاک اباؤٹ دی کیڈز دیٹ آر ایٹ سچ این امپریشنیبل ایج آئی مین آئی فیل لائک شہزاد ایون Even after you graduated from the university, I feel like you have that impactful mind, right? Yeah. Things matter and they shape your personality as well. So now I'm going to move on to Usama over here and actually ask him sort of if what they said is true. <laughs> no, it's just a joke. So, you know, uh, when we're talking about girls or even guys for that matter, they, when they're entering into their teenage shazad, they, like I mentioned, they have an impressionable mind. There's so many biological hormonal changes going on and they just need someone to encourage their mindset and then direct it toward a po towards a positive direction. Yeah. So to, when you're living in such an institution, you definitely need someone to talk to, right? Yeah. And you definitely need um, someone you to have that confidence. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. To have the mentor and then have the confidence in. So Osama, did you have someone here who you could trust and share everything with and then they could help you out with stuff? Before answering your question, I have to uh, make you remember that yeah, I, when I came here, I was just six or seven year old. Now I'm 20. I just did my FAC and uh, Alhamdulillah, I've scored 907 marks. So uh, when I came here, I, uh, actually I was so small. So it was uh, all for me like a home. Everybody's giving me the love of uh, mother, the love of father, everything I have uh, achieved. It's just because of Uncle Akhtar hmm. sitting here. He's just like my father. Uh, he, I can't, I have no words, uh, I don't have any words. Okay, I'll make it easy for you. Is he accessible? So for example, if you have something that's really bothering you, right? And you're like, I can't share with friends, I have to talk to someone about it. So is so can you like call him anytime? Yeah, and then he helps you out? Yeah, of course. Oh, wow. Most of his time he spent over here in Co. Wow, that's so, nice. Uh, that's uh, wonderful. Okay, so, so let's, let's, let's hear you out, you know. Hmm. So you were six or seven years old. Uh, when you came to Mr. Akhtar Saab as well and then from there onwards take us, you know, so which grade were you in? Uh, you know, how was it living with all of these brothers and sisters of yours? How were you, uh, do you think that you were looked after very well? You know, Chaudhary Akhtar Saab just mentioned that uh, he's, uh, the only vision he had in his mind was that whatever he could provide for his daughter is the same that he's going to provide for all of those children who were over here as well. 
So how did that happen? So from six years old till 20 years old, mm. can you summarize it for us? Yeah, of course. Uh, when I came here, uh, I can't remember many things because I was so small. But I know when I uh, came here, uh, Uncle Akhtar put me in different, uh, put us uh, different uh, schools of the Mirpur. So it's a revenue and uh, it's a guidance house, it's a city schools, it's a lot of schools. Let me tell you something, I'm a, I, I can perform a quality too. Wow. So it's just because of Uncle Akhtar. Because Amazing. on that time, I was, I, my, I was, uh, my voice was uh, just uh, actually not, not too good. Not mature. Uh, okay. They polished it. He, yeah, he polished it. Now I can perform a good quality uh, also. And I just uh, Quran, uh, learned Quran by heart. So it's, it's just because of Uncle Akhtar and all the team of the court. So they are, they are treating me like mother, like father. They're, they are very caring. Wonderful. That's beautiful and you know this is actually uh, make, making me reminisce from when I went to school in Mirpur, I went to Jinnah model, do you know about that? <laughs> but you know that part. Now, sir, remember last time we met, you mentioned that you happen to be one of the, or probably the only one in Pakistan who has been authorized by Nadra to give your surname to all these children and like you uh, be the father to them. Is that true again? And also, like he mentioned, that you're always available for them. And what sort of, I mean, what are some of the most common issues that they do come up with to you, of course, since you are the father figure here? I'm not the only one and okay. to get the permission from Nadra. There are one or two others like Edi, um, and I'm probably the second or third. Uh, often um, people abandon newborn babies hmm. all over Kashmir and Pakistan. And many a times these babies, um, they vanish. Um, and there are reasons for that. There are organized crimes and Traffic. they have they have their uh, influence over doctors in DHQs and they have their influence uh, over police and judiciary so they vanish and they become beggars um, and um, whatever but there are minority of these children who uh, come into my um, institution. institution and when I bring them here uh, newborn babies, abandoned babies um, barely few hours old um, I give them a name and I give them my name. Wow. They have my name as their surname. So you have, yeah. technically speaking, mashallah, you have more than 400 children. Alhamdulillah, we have hundreds of children. <laughs> they have got my, and the reason for that is, I don't want to see these children growing up, and one day people recognize them w without a surname. Hmm. You know, so they've, they've got it. an identity, alhamdulillah, and we're, yes. we're so honored. Um, there are many issues children have and some of the issues are very basic and I'm so easily accessible as a father because to me they're, they're my children. Right, so right. even when I'm not here, when I'm abroad in England, uh, regularly maybe once or twice a day I get to speak to them but they have full access to me over phone as well. Oh. Brilliant. You know, um, and regularly we have phone conferences, we have uh, boys and girls, we have def different, uh, 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 what do you call it, um, groups that we've made. And if they have issues, first of all, they share it amongst them groups, hmm. and then they have senior staff. Yeah. And then if it's not so, uh, the problem is not solved by the senior staff, then they go come to me as well. Okay. So we try to get it solved before it comes to me. Yeah. <laughs> and, okay. and, you know, I think I, I need to ask you two questions, because the kind of student I was all my life, uh, I, I think my father actually had to give me some special attention. I was not very good with books. And you know, every now and then, obviously, you know, Pakistani parents, they'll beat the hell out of their children as well. <laughs> and I've loved it. I've loved every bit of it. And I think that's even shafkat from parents. Mm. But what I need to know over here is that, you know, obviously when you're 13 years or 14 years or 15 years, you know, you're running around over here, uh, it's, it's really difficult to stop or control a kid as well. What would you say to them in the first place? Number two, what I've realized is that there's this one thing which, which I've observed very keenly and that is that, and I think that this is your vision as well and a part of your vision, uh, that these kids shouldn't actually be or feeling that they are undermined or they do not have yeah. that confidence. Because this is one thing I've figured out that all of these students have been in conversation with, have wonderful body language, they're all very confident and so well they know spoken. That, that they're worthy of it Absolutely. as well. How did you achieve it? Okay. First of all, uh, in, in court, we don't allow uh, physical abuse, Wonderful. totally. That's in, it's, an, in, it's a constitution that we don't not allow physical abuse. Brilliant. Even amongst the children sometimes, uh, there are rifts. Um, it can happen once, but it will not be repeated. Often, you know, between siblings, you have issues as well, and yeah. same here. Uh, but we don't 
get it repeated. Myself, uh, if, I, if, if, I, if I said to you that I've never ever lifted my hand on a child, I'd be lying to you. Right. And I'll give you a typical example. Okay, okay. Osama's elder brother, uh, Numan, was uh -huh. also here. Okay. And uh, he completed his BSE. And when he was 11 years old, he was a terror. <laughs> he was a Not terror. A I'm telling you, he, 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 uh, the staff was fed up. Oh. You know, every day, he wouldn't listen to nobody. And about 11 or 12 years old he was, and one day, I just had enough. And I think it was a bad timing that he came to me. <laughs> and wallah uh, khuda, you know, um, as a son, uh, as a son and a father, I lifted my hand on him, just once. And you know that little slap changed his life. He's one of the smartest lads I've ever had in this institution now. And what happened after that, he completed his studies, he went to work, their mother is alive, uh, he went to serve his mother, and then he wanted to go abroad, he got a really good job in Dubai, he didn't have um, financial resources to go abroad, so I gave him that money, wow. he went abroad, four years he was there, and after four years, recently, we opened our, our office in Islamabad, and I called him, I said, no man, now you've been out of the face now for a few years, you've learned, you, you've learned the ropes, you know how the society works, I would like you to come back and serve court. He hmm. says, uncle, any time. He left a salary and came back to court working on almost 30% of what he was gaining over there. Amazing. And he's now the manager of our office in Islamabad. That's beautiful. But that is, again, the kind of, um, I want to say, tarbiyat that you imparted to them yeah. as well, which is brilliant, which is amazing. And it's, I think, easier said than done. It's a really hard job to actually bring up a child, especially at that age as well. But now we really have to wrap up this segment. Some of the guests are going to stay, but I have one question for you, Ma'am Anjum. You have been in the education sector for, mashallah, so long. And you have been overseeing schools and colleges in different parts of AJK. So when you have this responsibility, your standards must be so high, right? You visit this monthly. So what are some of the things that you make sure to check? Uh, like, do you check out their curriculum, what they're studying? Or do you check out their exam procedure? What do you do? Look, the colleges <laughs> were in the whole colleges. I was in the same way that I would visit the colleges and go there and go there. सारी जो है कारकर्दगी उसका जायजा लूं तो एग्जाम्स तो चलें वो तो एक मेन फैक्टर है ही है लेकिन इसके इलावा बच्चों की जो जैसा कि पहले भी आपको बताया कि उनकी तालीम के साथ साथ उनकी बाकी जो एक्टिविटीज हैं उनकी तरबीयत है उनकी बाकी चीजें उनकी नशोनमा है उनके साथ उनकी साइकोलॉजिकल तो अक्सर बच्चियां मेरे पास आके तो डिस्कशंस करती थी और अपनी बहुत थी जो उनकी घरेलू पर्सनल बातें थी वो मेरे साथ डिस्कस करती थी और फिर उसके बाद वो बड़ा रिलैक्स फील करती थी कि ये जो है तो ये चीजें जो हैं ये सारे जो टीचिंग स्टाफ था मैं उनको बताया करती थी मीटिंग्स में कि आप बच्चों के साथ जो है ना उनके साथ ऐसे रिलेशन कायम करें कि वो ये समझें कि वो अपनी मदर के साथ मौजूद हैं तो ये सारी चीजें जो हैं वो कॉलेजेस के अंदर जो हैं की जाती थी और फिर वहाँ पे कॉलेजेस के अंदर मुख्तलिफ एक्टिविटीज़ जो हैं वो होती हैं जिसमें के आप सीरत नब्बी है उस पे उनकी इवेंट्स होते थे उनके मुख्तलिफ गेम्स के जो है पूरे कंपटीशंस पूरे आज़ाद कश्मीर के कॉलेजेस के फिर पाकिस्तान के कॉलेजेस के साथ उनके कंपटीशंस होते थे तो हर जो फील्ड ऑफ लाइफ है उसके लिए उन बच्चियों को या बच्चों को तैयार किया जाता था और ताकि वो आगे चल के माशे के लिए बहुत ही अच्छे और मुफीद शहरी साबित हों सुनने में खूबसूरत लग रहा है मैं बच्चों को देख के ये देख भी रहा हूँ कि उनकी जो तरबियत हुई है वो किस खूबसूरती के साथ हुई है किस तरह वो आके मिलते हैं बहुत अच्छा है लेकिन जो एक और सवाल यहाँ पे मैं आपसे पूछना चाहता हूँ क्योंकि आपके कंधों पर एक बड़ी जिम्मेदारी दी चौधरी साहब ने कि जो कोर्ट का स्टाफ है उसको भी आप इंटरव्यू कर रही हैं आपने टीचर्स को भी इंटरव्यू करना है क्योंकि आपने असेस करना है कि वो कौन लोग हैं जो इनकी तालीम और तरबियत करेंगे तो क्या चीजें आप देखती थी कि यार इन लोगों में इनके पर्सनालिटी में ये ये ट्रेड्स होने चाहिए तो ये इन बच्चों को बेहतर समझा सकते हैं पढ़ा सकते हैं और खुद आपके पास इतना एक्सटेंसिव एक्सपीरियंस है तो क्या जब भी कोई टीचर इंटरव्यू के लिए आया कोई स्टाफ मेंबर आया आप क्या चीजें देखती थी उनकी सबसे पहले तो चूंकि मैंने खुद भी साइकोलॉजी जो है मैं उसकी स्टूडेंट रही हूँ तो सबसे पहले तो आप एक टीचर का गेटअप जो है वो आप देखेंगे की एक पर्सनैलिटी जो है यानी उनके हीवन के जब वो चल के आते हैं आपके पास हाँ जी बॉडी लैंग्वेज जो है उसको सबसे पहले आप अहमियत देते हैं फिर उनकी जो गुफ्तगू है 
اس میں آپ سب سے پہلے یہ چیز بھی نوٹ کرتے ہیں کہ وہ کتنے مشفق ہو سکتے ہیں یعنی شفیق ہونا سب سے ضروری ہے بچوں کے ساتھ اور اس کے بعد پھر یہ ہے کہ جب ہم ان سے انٹرویو لیتے ہیں تو انٹرویو کے دوران بہت زارے ایسے کوسچنز جو ہیں ہم رکھتے ہیں سیکلوجیکلی جن سے ان کی ہمیں پرسنیلیٹی کا اندازہ ہو جاتا ہے تو پھر اس چیز کو ہم مد نظر رکھتے ہوئے جو ہے نا سیلیکشن کر تو کبھی ایسے ہوا کہ کسی نے فون کر دیا کہ جی چوزی صاحب نے کہا ہے کہ ان کو رکھ لیں جی نہیں کبھی ایسا نہیں ہوا اور نہ ہی چوزی صاحب نے کبھی نہ ہی چوزی صاحب نے کبھی اس طرح کی بلکہ انہوں نے ہمیشہ یہ کہا ہے کہ جو ڈیزرف کرتا ہے اور جو اس وہ کہتے ہیں نا کہ جو جس چیز کا اہل ہے اگر اس کو آپ وہاں پہ لے آتے ہیں تو آپ اپنی اس کارکردگی کو بہت اوپر لے جاتے ہیں اور اگر وہ نہیں لاتے ہیں تو جو آگے ہے وہ اس سے بھی نیچے لے کے اس کو چلا جاتا ہے تو اس لیے ان کی طرف سے ہمیں ہمیشہ یہی رہا ہے کہ وہ لوگ سیلیکٹ کیے جائیں جو کہ اس ادارے کے لیے اور بچوں کے لیے بہترین ہیں سر ہم یہ اگر کالڈ ان فور افیور لیے میں کہلی ہوں آئی آئی سیٹ دیس رولز اور پرنسپلز میں سیلف سو آئی وڈ نوٹ بریک دوز اسپیکلی انا فاکلٹی تا ٹیچنگ فاکلٹی ہم نے جب سے سکول کو شروع کیا میں نے سب کو بتا دیا کہ جو بھی میریٹ پہ آتا ہے and how we do that how we conduct that we advertise the posts and then people apply then we hold a test a written test according to the subject for teachers for teachers and then it is shortlisted we do a class demo number two and then after those two I do the interview amazing right? amazing and then we we, we select them it, the, it has never been up to this day that we have opened a back door for a teacher mm -hmm. we would not do that even the prime minister if he calls me i would not listen to him neither would anybody else Wonderful. which is why i think we've been so far you have been able to you know maintain the quality of education mm -hmm. and the lifestyle over here which is brilliant but thank you so much for being here uh, ladies and gentlemen right now we're headed to a very short break when we come back we will have well more of the students from court over here along with some of the faculty members as well well stay tuned because this is very exciting and i am pumped absolutely it's heaven on earth for orphans ladies and gentlemen believe us good morning good morning All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for everybody who just got tuned in to PTV World. You're watching World this morning. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I, alongside my co-host and my entire team, happen to be in Mirpur, Azad, Kashmir, and the place is known as Court, which is Kashmir Orphan Re Relief Trust. Yes. I'm very sorry for that one. <laughs> no or for stuttering early in the morning as well. But ladies and gentlemen, believe ye me that uh, this happens to be one of the best days of my life. And it's because of the fact that when you get to see someone, who obviously is conferred upon uh, with the Tamgha and Tiaz as well for the kind of services he's provided to all the orphans uh, who actually happen to be within this facility. Not just that, but then at the same time, he's making sure that everybody's going to get education, whether they can pay for it or not, but the education within this facility is for free. And to yeah. give you an evidence of that, we've actually been right. joined by two wonderful students over here, uh, they are amongst us as well, so Shiza, would you want to take on? Uh, yeah, absolutely, here? and you know, the fun part is that we did cover the education part in the first segment, yeah. but right now we are going to ask them directly from the horse's mouth, what else activities, I mean, they do, what what kind of things they indulge in, and what kind of permissions they need to do certain things as well. And whether they get pocket money or not. Oh yeah, so many questions. All right, so we have someone who happens to be a student over here, has been living here since few years. She's none other than Bushra Khanum. Hello, Assalamu alaikum Bushra. Wa alaikum assalam. My name is Bushra Khanum and I'm a 7th class student. Nice. I've been living here for the past 4 years. I've been living here for the past 4 years. And now I'm going to 
चौधरी मोहम्मद अख्तर इतनी सहूलियात हमें यहाँ पे दी है कि हमें शायद के घर में भी ना मिल सकते मैं आपसे पूछूंगी सारी चीजें उससे पहले वी नीड टू इंट्रोड्यूस समवन एल्स हु हैपेंस टू बी वेल ही इज लर्निंग द कुरान बाय हार्ट राइट नाउ ही इज सो यंग माशाल्लाह एंड ही हैज इयर्स ऑफ हिज लाइफ सो ब्रिलियंट एंड आल्सो आई थिंक ही इज अ लिटिल नॉटी ओवर हियर ही इज नॉन अदर देन हसनैन मजीद हेलो हसनैन अस्सलाम वालेकुम वालेकुम सलाम क्या हाल है ठीक है मेरा नाम हसनैन मजीद है और मैं मेरे साथ में दो बहने और भी स्पोर्ट में मेरे तालीम में I just thought I really want to talk about now how kids have different well dreams and demands right i mean even when we were tiny needs we used well. to need that's what that's the word actually i was looking for <laughs> needs as well i mean we used to of course i mean i used to dream of good st- stationery i wanted cute fancy pens and notebooks to write in and probably you know cute bags and what not but the thing is um we need to ask these students over here yeah. uh, on how they sort of manage uh their pocket money first of all if they get any so i'm going to bushra over here bushra kabhi aapne koi cheeze plan ki ki maine ye 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 khareedna hai ladkiyon ko itni cheeze pasand hoti hai hai na kya pasand hai aapko hum har eid pe shopping pe jate hain acha apni pasand ke kapde lete hain nahi lekin waise bhi agar kabhi matlab kuch bhi aapke zehen mein aaye jo aapne khareedna hai to fir aap wapas se jaate hain waise bhi kabhi agar hame dil kare shopping karne ka to hum baat karte hain fir फिर चले जाते शॉपिंग पॉकेट में नहीं मिलती है तो सेविंग करती हो कोई उसमें से सेविंग हर हफ्ते में हफ्ते में मिलती है इसलिए हमें हम छोटे बच्चे इसलिए 200 मिलती है फॉर फॉर वीक आपको भी 200 मिलती है आप भी 200 मिलती है लेडीज एंड जर्मन द सिस्टम इज आई आई थिंक सो फाइन दैट फॉर ऑल ऑफ दोस किड्स हु एक्चुअली गो टू स्कूल विल गेट 200 रुपीस फॉर किड्स हु एक्चुअली गो टू कॉलेजेस विल प्रोबब्ली गेट 300 350 रुपीस और 400 अलोंग विद ऑल द अदर फैसिलिटीज राइट यू आर गोइंग टू गो टू यूनिवर्सिटी यू आर गोइंग टू गेट 500 रुपीस बट दैट्स पॉकेट मनी बिकॉज़ योर फूड्स पेड फॉर योर रेंट्स पेड फॉर योर बिल्स आर पेड फॉर योर एजुकेशन फीस पेड फॉर इवन योर हेल्थ इज पेड फॉर एज़ वेल लेडीज एंड जनरल ऑल ऑफ दोस मेडिसिनल फैसिलिटीज आर अवेलेबल विद इन दीस प्रीमिसेस एज़ वेल व्हिच आई थिंक It's wonderful. It is amazing, man. Uh, yeah, I I think it's, it's <laughs> actually a resort. Everybody needs to come down to Meerpur and <laughs> stay a night over in court. And you know what? You should. I know that that was that's what I was going to say. But you're below the age of ten. Oh, you just don't pass that now. Obviously. No, you yeah. know. But we did uh, the good part, ladies and gentlemen. Is again, you know, we love to celebrate people who have clear and good intentions with serving humanity. That's why we're here. And uh, like you said, that this should be a resort, right? Yeah. So uh, just, uh, uh, I mean, off air, we were having a discussion of how. this should actually become a private school and probably you know privatization should enter this for the sake of profit but uh, the pioneer over here the chairman that we're in conversation with he's not up for it he is literally doing each and every single thing and providing each and every single thing to serve the children that are over here i think that's absolutely beautiful so sir if i were to ask you what's next are you guys going to expand or is there anything in your mind that you need to add to this iske alawa bhi hum bahut se projects karte hain like natural calamities and disasters when they occur Okay. We just had a recent uh, last year we had an earthquake here in Meerpur. Yeah. Uh, single-handedly, we done the relief work. We built 150 houses for the victims. Oh wow! We had okay. floods in uh, uh, KPK in 2010. We built 171 homes. And you engage these students in community services? Of course. Oh, nice. Always, always. The, um, my vision is these are the children who are gonna who are gonna take over us hmm. eventually. Absolutely. And then we do water filtration plants. We have a widows program. We give them monthly rations. Oh, nice. You know, many things. Uh, we do. Kurbani, mass Kurbani every year. Um, other than that, our future projects now, because uh, I want to focus on primary education. We're building primary schools, okay, okay. and with the private and public sector, we're handing them over. Because what I've seen in our society here, we don't have a middle class. We have a lower class and oh, an upper it's, class. It's, it's, it's extremes. And unless and until we 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 create that middle class, and the only way we're going to do that is bring the deprived people up. True, and true. we are fo- we are focusing on on the underprivileged uh, people uh, and next projects we want to build more of these courts and inshallah uh, by december in couple of months we are going to lay the foundation stone in almabad in sawabi oh, for our next project amazing. where inshallah prime minister pakistan uh, was there two days ago in uh, almabad to uh, see the site we working with pakistan air force okay. uh, alhamdulillah so the next project is going to be in almabad we want to build 22 more of these projects throughout pakistan you know 22 more 22 more yeah. brilliant inshallah brilliant. you know uh, we, 
we are going to change the course of poverty with with couple of other organizations there's an organization that we're working along in Almabad and other projects is called Rashid Memorial Welfare Trust they're doing amazing work in uh, um, Rashidabad in Karachi uh, ex um, air marshals and air commodores and alhamdulillah huge backing of Pakistan Air Force Wow. Yes. Wonderful wow. that is, but at this very point, ladies and gentlemen, I think we uh, once again have a very special report to share with you guys. Go ahead, take a look. I mean, you guys will come back. We'll actually ask Joyce uh, about all of those people who've actually been making sure that you know that the kids actually enjoy the same kind of living and the mm. lifestyle which we enjoy. How do they make it possible? And how do the partners come in? And how do they chip in? And what goes on? And uh, obviously, we've heard his vision. That's what he's looking forward to. We want to give him all kind of support we want to provide him with all kind of support and prayers as well right. but first let's take, take a, a look, look at, at this support. code kashmir orphans relief trust is a non-profit organization working for orphans and underprivileged children by providing them safe and secure home and also an excellent education in prominent universities colleges schools and all home-like facilities under one roof today's society is a knowledge-based society which nourishes on information and creativity an integrated system of kindergarten to high school education is planned in Kerr school of excellence at mirpur complex could also have their transport department which provides pick and drop service to their respectable staff and also their students studying in colleges and universities games are necessary to make students healthy and active their sports department have all possible facilities including sports kits for all the students students enjoy cricket tennis football and many more games not only this but a very beautiful mosque jamia abu bakr siddiq is also located in code educational complex where his classes are are also conducted for these students this mosque is not only used by prayers by co children and staff but also by the people living near to them as well as providing quality mainstream education could also provide technical training and scholarships to suit the mindset of the children orphan children are brought in at a primitive age and could then look after all dimensions of their life ranging from extracurricular activities to ultimately their nuptials However, these children are not only the responsibility of the government but also that the whole nation. It is not the choice of a child to become an orphan, but you we have the choice to make a difference in their lives. All right, this was again so interesting, but one more interesting fact that we just found out. Yeah. In fact, I think he did mention it last time. I do remember this. Do you know because of the services that Akhtasab has been provided to not just um, the children living over here, but to the entire, of course, humanity, or let's say at least Azad Jammu and Kashmir, this place, it's uh, the entire town is named after him by the Prime Minister of Pakistan. It's called Akhtarabad. Isn't it brilliant? Exactly. And not just that, I think I would like to add on over here as well that Chiza, I've come across, you know, we both have actually yes. come across a lot of people you know we meet new people every single day and you know once you know we meet them we come across them as well uh, we have actually come across people who really wanted to do something for people but they had a different agenda at the back I of know what minds. you mean yes yes exactly but today ladies and gentlemen I, I feel blessed that you know that there are people around uh, within our own community as well who are working tirelessly they were making sure that they do not leave any stone unturned as well and they're doing it with the goal and the mission as well, but there are no agendas at the back of their minds as well. So if it is no named, ulterior motives. Yeah, so if this place is named Akhtarabad, ladies and gentlemen, it is because somebody thought that you know since he has done so much for the people, it wasn't him in the first place who's going to go to somebody and you know what? Hey, I'm looking after so many kids. The place should actually be named Akhtarabad. Of course, that's not how it is. The intention hmm. is very clear. The intention is very honest. And we are a witness to this, ladies and gentlemen. So we are here, the entire team is here. I think everybody is witness to this. This is history in the making. And we are glad that we got this opportunity to bring it or share it with the rest of the world as well. We're going out in 46 different countries. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Pakistan for your eyes only. A rather naya Pakistan. Actually, that's yeah. what I was going to say, you know. The vision that we talk about, our premier talks about, right? This is it. These are the type of people that we need to engage. And ladies and gentlemen, for all of those people who might see this show as sort of an endorsement or something, let me just, I just want yeah. to make something clear over here. 
Uh, this is something we planned. We, my team, my researcher, my producer, we, we look for people who are actually making a change in the society. And then we go after their stories because we really want to inspire and motivate all the Pakistanis out there, not only over here in Pakistan, but even the ones living outside. So this is really meaningful for us. And I really hope that the show, the way that we have delivered it, I hope you receive it the same way as well. Exactly. So very quickly, sir, uh, because uh, from what I have gathered as of now is that, you know, it's it's not a single man's job you know obviously there's a larger team there are other people who uh, are always b b wishing well for these kids uh, for their well-being for their education for their future as well so would you mind sharing a few of the details for all of those donors who have been actually a part of your team who have extended continuous support and not just that then that in near future if there's anybody out there, you know, after watching the program, they want to donate to the trust. Hmm. What is the process? Please go ahead. Take us along. You know, first of all, uh, what I'd like to uh, tell uh, the people watching this around the world is that uh, often we are uh, portrayed as a negative society and negative country. Kashmir and Pakistan, we are peace-loving people. And this is the true image of our Pakistanis. This is the true image. It's not what you get seen uh, by, by negative people. And we are very positive. And we believe in PMA, positive mental attitude. And we look at think I'm calm We are a nation. Alhamdulillah, we are a nation, and we are a growing nation. You know, um, 72 years of age. We're not even pensioned yet. And look what we've achieved. We, we've achieved phenomenal. The country, the nation. We have got issues. We have problems. But inshallah, slowly but surely, we're getting there. Um, you know, the sky's the limit. What I'd like to tell, especially the youth of our nation nowadays, you've got to aim high. If you aim high, you're going to get somewhere. If you don't aim high, you're not going to get nowhere. Because in our dictionary in court, we do not have the word impossible. Impossible are two words. I'm impossible. I can do anything. And, uh, you know, the future is very bright. And our success is because we have never, ever manipulated donations of our donors. You know, we have got a credibility from our donors throughout the world, especially overseas, uh, Britain, America, Europe, Canada, South Africa. We have got donors. And I would like to take this opportunity to thank those donors who have trusted us with their amanat, you know, with their zatkat, their kharat. And I can vouch for one thing, that this whole complex, when the Prime Minister of Pakistan came here, he asked me, how much did you build this for? And I asked him, I said, you tell me, because Shokat Khan was built for about 4 billion. Yeah. So this is bigger than that. So I was expecting for me to say more than 4 billion. And I told him, I said, we don't have billions. Mm -hmm. Now how is that possible? Uh, you know, 2, 3 billion words, you know, done with so little. The reason is, the people that donated to us, their intention was right. And that is our success. And finally, court does not belong to me. It is not the asset of my family. This is the, this is the source of Pakistan. This belongs to Pakistanis and Kashmiris. This belongs to our donors. We want people to come and visit us, see it, and then take ownership. Court belongs to Pakistan, court belongs to Kashmir, and we want more people to come aboard and join hands so we can serve more humanity in the best possible way we can. The nutshell Beautiful. would be court is us, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. I think that's what it is. But for, for all of those people, sir, who might be watching you in other countries as well, hmm. who go out in 46 different countries, if they want to donate to court, what is the process? Okay. Simple. First of all, do come and visit us. That's very important. More than money, we, we appreciate time you know, by coming here. If you want to donate, go to our website, www.kort, Kashmir Orphans Relief Trust, .org.uk, very simple, uh, and you can donate online, but more than that, w the biggest donation that you can give is, is your time, come and visit us. We are lucky to be serving our nation. Pakistan is a very beautiful country, I want more people to come. Visit Pakistan and Kashmir and see the true image of Pakistan and Islam. Wow. Uh, just one uh, quick last question though. What about the people who want to volunteer, probably, you know, come teach and probably have some uh, seminars and sessions? Is that open? They're most well. Anybody can give whatever they want. If wow. they want to hold a seminar, they walk, uh, they welcome, you know, motivational speeches, they can welcome doctors, nurses, teachers, they want to come. We will facilitate them. We already have volunteers throughout the world come and visit us. Yeah. And then youth, we want youngsters to come on board. We don't call them volunteers, we call them muscoteers. Mm. Yeah. You know, yes. They, they're a backbone. Our volunteers, our musketeers are a backbone. They're a wow. strength. And Brilliant. we have your musketeers, sir, from today onwards. As well. <laughs> we but are. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much for giving us this opportunity to be over here in court and witness it for ourselves as well. 
You've done a phenomenal job. You're an inspiration to millions and billions of people, whoever's yeah. going to see the show as well. And there's something which is very close to my heart as well, that Allah actually chose us to come over here and be the voice of all of these orphans as well. So thank you very much once again. It was wonderful. And please make sure that you continue to strive for excellence as you've already done so as well. Thank you very much, Bacho. It was wonderful to be in conversation. And ladies and gentlemen, believe me, uh, you know, each and every kid you're going to look or probably meet over here, you know, once you're actually going to shake hands with them, the way they're going to converse with you, the way they're going to talk to you, uh, I mean, it's just on a very different level as well. It does not even feel for a single second that they might have been neglected for even a microsecond as well. Ladies and gentlemen, each and every kid is actually getting so much attention over here that they're full of confidence, they know their ethics, they know their moral values, they know their culture. And above all, they know that they're all Pakistani ladies That's and gentlemen. That's beautiful. Wonderful. And you know, Shazad, I think a lot of people, including me, I'm one of them, we spend our entire lives wondering, uh, of course, the purpose of life, right? I mean, the human brain, t uh, brain takes you there. Yeah. And then you wonder, and then the Quran, of course, answers you as well, that Allah has created you, actually sent you in the world to serve other people, to, yeah. you know, when we talk about Hakuk al ibad it's all about that, how you're dealing with other people, yeah. the kind of things that you're doing. And I think to find that purpose and then to pursue it for the rest of your life, this is the answer to why we are sent here, right? Yes, exactly. And, and this is how it comes back as well. You know, you do well, ladies and gentlemen, and wellness is going to come back to you. This brain is a magnet. If you're going to think good, good things will come to you, ladies and gentlemen. And Chaudhi Saab is one of those examples as well. So, ladies and gentlemen, please make sure if there's anything you need to ask, if you need to know about court or anything else rather yeah. than that as well, please make sure that you write to us on our Facebook fan page, which is with the name of... It's with the name of Well This Morning. On Twitter. Well This Morning without a G. On Daily Motion. Uh, well This Morning. On YouTube. It's PTV World, but you have to look for Well This Morning. And the fabulous repeat is going to be at... Five past midnight tonight. So the next time, ladies and gentlemen, look after yourselves. And we've always been requesting you that, you know, please make sure that you remember us and our entire team. But from today onwards, whenever you are, uh, you know, raising your hands for prayers, please make sure that you ask each and everything you ask for yourself, for all of these kids who actually study over here within this orphanage Absolutely. or wherever they may probably be. Ladies and gentlemen, look after yourselves. Good morning. Take care.